So I will start from the beginning in 2017. I participated in IDF conference in Brussels. Then uh, the title was Our Right to a Healthy Future. So I, I, um, I participated as an Arab Muslim woman from Israel to talk about uh, the diabetic uh, situation in uh, Israel and uh, let you uh, see another education and pedagogical uh, themes that we adopt in Israel in order to uh, minimize the diabetes uh, um, uh, in our uh, village. Yes, please. So my lecture is about women lead change against diabetes in the family. As you know, Arab family uh, is in the collective society and it's hard to participate and separate the women from the family. So women uh, have the big role in order to uh, affect their lifestyle for all the family members. Uh, during the coronavirus, different things uh, occur. Uh, one of the interesting things that the ministry offices gave uh, different and various uh, programs in order to uh, empower women in order to have a healthy lifestyle because lots of uh, people uh, uh, get uh, pre-diabetic and the diabetic uh, patients also become uh, more uh, complicated because of the stress, because of the fear, because of being isolated at, ho at homes and the uh, situation is becoming uh, complicated more and more. So this uh, photo focuses in uh, the women that participate in different workshops in order to learn and to read different uh, facilities and techniques how to make good meals, healthy meals without sugar and organic meals in order to keep the family members from being patients, la samahalla, and uh, diabetic. Yes, please. So uh, I all the time back to the uh, motto, our right to a healthy future, because Arab Israeli uh, are 20% um, of the whole population in Israel. So I consider myself as an Arab Israeli woman and also a, a minority in the minority. So women are the minority in the minority of our population in Israel. Yes, please. So if we look at the uh, map of Israel, uh, women, uh, women take the whole uh, role in the family. So Israel is considered as 8.68 million. Jews are 6.484 million. That means 74.7% of the population. And the Arabs uh, close to one, one 0.808 million. So we are 20.8% from the all population in the Arab, in uh, Israel country. And we are located in the north, in the Merkaz, in the center, and also in the Negev, in the south. Yes, next. What is diabetes? Diabetes and obesity are the leading health problems in the world and the Arab world and in Israel, mainly in the Arab sector population. We are very complicated diabetes and uh, uh, different various uh, occasions uh, are uh, in the Arab population because of different uh, uh, reasons. One of them is the lack of uh, awareness and the gap between the Arab and the Jews uh, societies. We are talking about gaps in different, in different items such as uh, socioeconomics, education, uh, lifestyle, and so on. Next. So in Israel, almost one third of the Arab population over the age of 50 has diabetes. The remaining two thirds 
mostly have a pre-diabetic or are in several years before they become pre-diabetic. This is significantly higher than the rate of the diabetes among Israeli Jews population. One of the most important things is that the Arab population live in, in a community that is considered as conservative and collective. So the one affects the others and the others affect one. Next. Coronavirus challenges. Family members eat emotional foods and meals. Women prepare meals all the days for all the family members. We have a stress, we have fear, and semblance, hopeless. We have low socioeconomic situations. All these, all these reasons affect the situation for diabetic and the lifestyle inside the family. We are talking about close to uh, one, uh, one, one year and one and a half year. So this is a very long period that affect the lifestyle in the Arab uh, family. Next. So one of the uh, new projects that the Welfare and the Social Affairs Ministry started to give projects for women, not the health ministry, because the health ministry focuses on corona and focuses on vaccines and corona uh, aspects. So other ministries like welfare started to focus on the daily lifestyle of persons in, the, uh, in, in Israel. So they give budgets for different projects for women. One of the workshops is to help women uh, make salads and organic foods and meals in order to keep the health of the family members not to be diabetic or pre-diabetic. And this very interesting and uh, amazing projects, uh, in my opinion, the help and illustrate the health ministry from different side. And this is, uh, this, uh, the, the, these projects are really uh, interesting, are really important in order to help the women. We're talking about of various uh, ages for women, started from 20 until 60. Yes, next. One of the interesting things that we focus on to, um, uh, to understand and learn how to make sushi fruits in order to have alternatives for sugar when we uh, have guests at home or go to different parties, birthday parties and other parties. So uh, the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Welfare started to think about alternative um, a help in order to give women a skills and techniques how to keep the health inside the family. This sushi, as you see, is made from soya pepper and it's organic. Uh, inside we have the uh, fruits and uh, with the low sugar, no syrup, uh, everything is natural and everything is low sugar. Yes. This is a picture for workshop, how to teach women preparing healthy meals in order to affect the members inside the family and also to uh, widen the circle of the change because women can lead the change and we all together should have the same vision in order to uh, uh, to keep it in the uh, family or outside at work, at school, in the uh, garden, with the students, with the with kids. We are helping each other in order to achieve the goal, teaching women and helping women raising the awareness for healthy food all the time. Yes, please. 
So we have challenges on a, a match between coronavirus and diabetes. The corona millions of affected, while diabetes also millions of patients around the world. We have in corona close to 2 million causes of corona affected, and also we have 400 millions of diabetics around the world. In corona, we focus on prevention. That prevention is more important. Also in diabetes, we have a prevention that is more important for the diabetic and for the family and for people in general. In corona, it's hard to be isolated all the time. Also, it's hard to isolate others from unhealthy meals. That means diabetic patients uh, face difficulties to be isolated, let's see, isolated in the meals. So they should be all the time have different meals. So we want to give, to give them opportunity to feel that they are similar to us and not to give them uh, the feeling that they are uh, something uh, not acceptable in the family. So in Corona, we have social activities are more important than health values. I see this, unfortunately, that different uh, affected the causes because people, um, people prefer uh, social life and health uh, life. So also diabetic patients can't struggle the social pressure and they want to be inside the group. In Corona, the Corona affects all the family members also because of the uh, conservative and collective society. We, uh, we notice that the, the, the diabetic can't struggle all the time, be not a part of the group. In coronavirus, doctors deal with prevention and encourage vaccines, while also in diabetes, doctors encourage a healthy lifestyle instead of insulin to avoid diabetic complications. And I think that there is a, a, a good mirroring between corona and diabetes. Yes, please. So the change starts here. The change in the world should be held by women. We have a workshop to teach women how to make bread with whole wheat in order to uh, balance the uh, A1C in it for the diabetic and the pre-diabetic uh, uh, people. Yes. I want to take an example for this woman. She's name is Awatif. Awatif means in Arabic or in English, emotions. Her name is Awatif, called Awatif. She's 55 years old, married and the mother for a big family. She's diabetic from type 2 with lots of medicines and she is unbalanced. She decided to adopt a healthy lifestyle started with the whole wheat and no sugar. She became more healthier, more stronger, stopped all the medicines and insulin. During the time, today she teaches women how to make salads and cakes without sugar and healthy food. She's a role model for other women in the Arab society. This kind of woman, I do am proud of her and she all the time take the chance to her hands and teach women how to keep healthy lifestyle in the family. I think the more we educate women, the more we focus on women, the women awareness, we have at the final a, health, a more healthier, more healthy uh, family and lifestyle. Yes. So I want to join an empowerment course of diabetes prevention. By the awareness that is given to the participated women and the support in the group, she started to change her style of life. 
I want to face the problem at home at the beginning that children didn't accept the change of sugar drinks in water or in whole wheat in baking the cookies. And these challenges are also legitimate because change is not easy. Change is not acceptable in the beginning. But during the time people adopt this change when they understand that they are going to live in a good way. Next. So we're talking about a small change that have big impact. It's very important to focus on these changes that make our life more interesting, more effective. So, however, she continued in the change and started to walk five kilometer walking twice a week. As a result, the sugar started to be balanced in blood. She becomes stronger and more empowered by the group of women in the workshop. Women encourage women all the time. Next. So diabetes can be prevented by raising awareness, focus on women, social and health organizations should take responsibility in order to provide women with the skills and strategies, strategies to lead the change. Next, please. We need a financial support. You know, or uh, it's not taken for granted that we have financial support from ministries because we face a corona as a very interesting challenge in our life. So the support should be from different ministries like education, labor, welfare, and others in order to have a, a, a network, network of uh, women uh, uh, education for uh, diabetes. So prevention diabetes projects among women. We have culturalism between women in order to be exposed to a very stories of, challenge, of diabetes challenge. Uh, understanding the structure, the structure of the society, habits and traditions, and its diversity from the other society in order to match a suitable cure. Next. So I wanna talk now about another workshop that I lead it with my uh, uh, colleague, uh, Professor Bisharat, we're talking about awareness workshop, mad language and culture. Instead of uh, give women um, information in other language, I visited them in the north. I'm talking about two hours of traveling from my town, Baka al Garbiya, to the Negev, to the south of Israel. And all the workshop with these women, these are Bedouin women that talked about their life and try to match a strategy and techniques according to their life, not according to the theories only. So this is closing to, to women in order to give them um, skills in simple ways how to adapt it in their family. We are talking about big families. We have from eight, from seven, eight until 12, 13 members in the family. So uh, teaching women and awareness for women is very essential and important, especially for these families and for this con conservative and Bedouin society. Yes, please. So at the end, I do appreciate this uh, lecture and this conference. I hope I gave you a, a good impression about my society and the, the difficulties that we face. And this is, a, this is a picture that I take from my school that I teach and give different activities, especially for health. And I bring for, with me in the morning a, a, fruit, a, a fruit, not a sugar, and give the students a, just to adapt this role. How can we keep our a sugar in our blood without having risks for our health and moving on with high awareness and less sugar and diabetes. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing our projects in the Arab Society in Israel and thank you for you all.